Hey, hey. All good? Stream working all right? Hear me okay? Yeah. Can't hear any music. Because I'm using my headphones, so just making sure you can't hear music. Otherwise, we're going to get demonetized or something. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in the peak of the day, or wherever you are, actually. Um, we're going to do some suffering on the menu in about 10 minutes time. Some big amount of suffering. Um, yeah, I know we're good. Whew. What have we got here? Mount Fuji Hill Climb Kit. It's kind of nice. I'm assuming draft is turned off. It's supposed to be a time trial, so I'm assuming draft is turned off. And uh, it's it's just going to be like a free-for-all. Um, but I don't really know. I don't really know. We'll see. Anyway, excited to... Uh, excited to give... A bit of an effort today after um, how I'm feeling currently, and I haven't actually done, haven't actually done any like big sustained full gas efforts. I've done lots, lots of training around lactic threshold and lots of um, you know. Obviously, I've done some racing as well, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, if there's going to be any. Um, yeah, any changes really? So um, yeah, I will probably need some shouting at, some encouragement when we get halfway up the Alp. I'm gonna do the whole Alp, so however long that's gonna take me, like 40 minutes or something, um, at current weight and fitness, um, maybe 40. I'm not, I have no idea actually. So um, so I've got eight minutes. I'm just gonna go on. Uh, get rid of this gel wrapper because I've had 30 grams of carbs. I've had two meals already today and I'm sipping on a carb drink as well. So, one sec. Okay, did I lose if any watts? Having any, uh, having COVID? Well, I don't know how much you've uh, been kept in the loop, but I had COVID about five weeks ago. Um, took me about a week to recover from it. Um, I definitely didn't have it bad. It was just I felt tired, so I uh, I took the week off. Um, but I also, we went on holiday the week before that, so effectively I had two weeks off straight after the Zwift, um, the eSports World Championship. So that, uh, I've had to rebuild back from that. And I've probably, well, I don't know, we'll find out today because I, it's really just been guesswork since then, trying to figure out how much I had lost um, so instead of doing a test or anything, I just went straight into training, but at a much lower intensity. So I don't really know. I'm not muted. Am I? No, I'm not muted. Um, so... Uh, what did I do? I, I did... Um, 
So I've been doing a bunch of training, mainly uh, low aerobic stuff, and then I've uh, done one road race, I've done Battle on the Beach, which was effectively like road race intensity, and I've done quite a lot of like probably what you'd call threshold work, but not um, but not knowing my threshold. Basically done off feel. I, w I would assume my FTP prior to prior to everything, so in February, is probably around the 350. And I'm assuming it's around the 330 mark now. Maybe. But the flip side is, of course, always remember that even though your FTP might drop, you might be able to hold it for longer. So it's, it's never a bad thing, really. It all really depends on what, what you're trying to do. Like, at the minute, this time of year, I would rather have a lower FTP, but be able to hold it for longer, as opposed to having a higher FTP and not being, hold, being able to hold it for as long. So each to their own, everybody's everybody's training for different things, everybody's different, so that's why Alp the Zwift is quite a good one because it's such a effectively it's a it's a very long effort. Doesn't matter how fit you are, it's gonna be pretty much at FTP. Um, and then because everybody's FTP time for exhaustion is different, it could be an hour for some people, it could be, you know, 35 minutes. <laughs> or it could be over an hour. Oh, bam, a few days is nothing. Morning, just about three minutes. Got it in quick. Yeah, another 50 weeks Emma, and he'll be back on the beach again. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. It just reminded me of why I'm indoors. Because it's wet outside. <laughs> so I've decided to come in, and uh, I, would, I would have to do this effort at some point. So I guess I'm doing it now. Pick your days, P pick your battles. Today's the day because it's wet outside, so I'm here. Uh, Ventop was, there's two two events on in this one event, so there's Ventop after us, uh, after us. Evening, Carl. Okay, I better get in the zone. We're gonna cruise to the bottom of the Alp and then, uh, well, you know what happens then. <laughs> it gets a bit hard. <laughs> Everyone knows, everyone knows the score. <sighs> Initially, I do lose motivation. Uh, I think that's normal, sweat for illness. Um, especially when you, you definitely know you're not as fit. That's very demotivating, but I think the best thing to do is to just get on with it. Because that's the only way you'll get back to, you know, where you were prior, or you know, get on that road at least. No one's gonna do it but yourself, really, isn't it? That's someone used to say to me. Someone used to say to me, um, "It won't do itself." <laughs> yes, Emma, did you win it? Good morning, Mike. <laughs> Four hundred. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember those days? <laughs> Music choice. I've actually just got a YouTube playlist uh, that I've just, I've literally just pulled out. It's just called Reddit's Top 50 Pump Up Songs. Never used it before. We'll see how it goes. No way. That's nuts, Emma. <laughs> Better play. Was that in collaboration with GCN? Because they've got um, 
because uh, they do, they're with Obey, aren't they? FTB test, easy to do outdoors and indoors, or is there any difference? There, there probably will be a difference. I would generally do them outdoors, i got to be honest. Um, I would. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying I would. Um, it depends what you do more of, I think, really. If you, if you do more of your stuff indoors, you might as well keep it indoors, but... Right, let's see if draft is on or off. Looks like draft is on. What are we saying? You reckon draft is on? It seems like it, doesn't it? If we're all together like this. Or maybe, oh, I don't know. How would you tell? <laughs> oh, by the way, I've got training difficulty on zero. Um, I'm just not in the headspace for uh, changing gears and everything today, so. I'm using zero. I don't always use zero, um, but that's how I'm feeling today. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying there. Yeah, it is lined out, isn't it? Good shout, well spotted. Any tips would be more efficient regarding hydration. The fitter I get, the faster I get through bottles. How can I train needing less water? I would not advise training using less water. Your body needs water for just general life. <laughs> um, I would actually try my best to keep up with that, to be honest. I wouldn't try and train to consume less, I would I would train to try and consume more. Ah cheers Scott. To be fair, you know we're talking about running out of road for outdoor FTP tests or well just long efforts really. Um don't know if any of you do gravel riding but something I've noticed and uh, Emma the guy I'm riding with the mechanic he's training for the Dolomites Maratona this year and uh, we've been saying how we might actually do more um, more gravel riding around South Wales because the climbs are a lot longer off-road um, not necessarily distance but because you're going slower because it's off-road time wise you're going uphill for like 15 20 minutes it's interesting. Target time or ETA? Neither. Squanchy. Uh, I don't know, but what is a sub 30? You should be able to, but is that over open? Yes, good practice, Jesse. I don't know. There's a lot of research into um, uh, sodium for muscular contra contraction and... Uh... Oh, hang on, Charlie's phoning me.
I'm back, sorry. Uh, important phone call. Fuck. Charlie. We're dealing with a lot currently. Away from, obviously, social media and whatnot. So, yeah. Apologies. It's important we look after our loved ones first. Like them. What's the Okay, we're nearly there. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Sub 40 needs a 5.2. Huh. I don't know, the way I'm going, I, I don't know if a 5.2 is I'll be capable of a 5.2. But we'll see. <laughs> no, thanks guys, thanks. Ooh. Nice little, uh, nice little easy spin to the bottom. It's very easy to get carried away. <laughs> Okie dokie. Trying to leave my towel on my handlebars so as long as possible. Stop my hands from sweating. Anxiety Nick. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Let's get it let's get it done. Do you realise I'm not going to be able to talk now for the next 40 minutes? Negative split, as always. Efforts too long, the positive split. Heart rate will come up. I just gotta be patient with it. Oh, I love the Alp. 
No, I genuinely do. Oh, that is correct, 100% change difficulty just makes it a very simple effort. But exactly ideally what I need today mentally to get this effort out. Don't put a lot of weight on training difficulty. I can just focus on my breathing, my cadence, and then I can use the gears at the end when I'm trying to ramp up. Simple, effective, completely personal. Who saw the tour of Flanders then, guys? Wow. Heart rate is really surprising me how low it is because a couple of weeks ago this would have been like 170 beats a minute so I'm not gonna light it up yet though because there's still a long way to go and I still don't want to blow
I'm going to put it out there that I don't think Feather put in his correct weight for that Alpduez Alpha Zwift uh, time. Because he said in a recent video, didn't he, that he's a fair few kilos heavier now than he is in hill climb season. So for him to do a 33 minute now, that's 6 watts per kilo odd. I don't know. To be honest, I wasn't fussed on the format of that video. Like, you're obviously going to beat Seth Cuss. It's virtual. Like, the time difference. <laughs> Definitely, Jeremy. Big gap to fit. Oh my word, why do I love long effort so much? I'm just in my element.
because my FTP is not set right.
Uh, yes! Oh, my word. <coughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well done, body. You're coming back. Ah. Thank you for the support there at the end. That was... I obviously can't see the chat, but... Well, I can only just see the screen. I'm squinting so much when I'm like that far down the... down the pain tunnel. Um, oof, that was... Uh, that last, like... I don't know, the last two hairpins, I was just burning and tight, like... <coughs> You know when you haven't like gone a sustained effort as deep as that for for ages, it's like it's such a it's such an overwhelming uh, feeling sometimes. Uh, some people feel like you feel claustrophobic. You know you can't breathe properly. Uh, you know like gasping for breath, but. I should definitely do more Alpha Swift. I feel like they get, I get a lot out of them. Um, I feel like, I feel like they really push me and, uh, you know, utilizing a, a mass start like that and, and using it as a test is very motivating. Um, that goes without saying, but yeah. Oh, thanks, um, thank you chat, no, honestly, um, Seeing, uh, seeing some old familiar names in the chat as well um, that unfortunately I couldn't like I couldn't say hello when I was uh, in that last like five kilometers it was basically the last 5k that I decided to to throw caution to the wind you could see how um, well my heart rate was quite controlled for that first you know 30 minutes well not 30 minutes maybe 25 minutes so I, um, I definitely had that gas to give at the end. I didn't expect to feel that strong coming into the end there. And uh, yeah, that's always nice and surprising. Um, what trainer difficulty? I was using 0%. I know, you know, I could get some stick for that, but like, uh, I change it daily, you know, depending on motivation, depending on uh, how I feel. Like today, I didn't feel like using my gears. I just wanted to concentrate on the effort and like not have anything sort of distract me in a way. I just wanted to have a consistent, um, you know, effort the whole time. And I think, you know, when you when you go up the Alp uh, and you're on, you know, 50% or 100% training difficulty, like obviously 100% you find yourself like maybe getting bogged down a little bit but I feel like with you know the the corners there's flatter sections you know the Alp is a great place for a, for an all-out effort of you know 35 to to an hour and a half 35 minutes to an hour and a half but it, it definitely it can disrupt your rhythm and if you're in if you're doing it for like you know like I did today like I just I wanted to concentrate on that effort and controlling it the whole time sometimes mentally you just don't want to you know that interference because that's what it is isn't it really the gradient it's it's another thing you have to think about but when you know at the end i can use you know the gears then to increase the resistance and increase that um uh, that yeah you know what i mean um so I mean, to be fair, you know, 100%, um, sorry, you know, 0%, if you're doing, um, you know, if you're doing a time trial on Tempus, you know, it's pan flat, you know, it probably doesn't make much of a difference if you're on 0 or 100% on something there, you know, but obviously when you're going up, up, uh, up a monster climb like this. Anyway, let's have a look at the graph. Let's have a look at it and see what the damage was for the um, 
I did 255 watts for 20 minutes. Oh my word, that's filthy. So that's not too far off. Well, 15 watts. But that 26 minute effort, that's the, yeah, that's the alp, isn't it? So what was this effort? So this effort was, what was it? 37, 35, well, there's a very little drop off there. You're talking one or two watts. So basically we'll look at this now and we'll say 35 minutes. Yeah, we'll call it 35, 36 minutes, 37 minutes, because there's a very little drop in power there, it's one or two watts. So we'll call that FTP 340 watts for around 40 minutes. That's that's what we work with now. So the thing is, though, uh, judging by how good I was at the end, it's, it's probably not as accurate as it could be. Um, so, you know, but again, we shouldn't always get bogged down on you know what's accurate what's not like you just sometimes you just need numbers to work with and then that's that's all the accuracy you need um so what i'll do now is i'll use that 340 watt and i will train around that now for the next block so i'll do maybe um like two by 30 minutes at 320 to 330 watts um so working over that 30 seven 38 39 minutes so we'll we'll add um you know time over that but at slightly lower power um because the last block i've done so to get where i am now so in the last month to see the improvement that we have i've been doing um like three 20 hour weeks so volume is you know volume is there um and uh, i've done quite well to get those 20 hour weeks in because of the weather um, but what I'll probably do now is build on that, and that's obviously increased my FTP, but also my um, my ability to work at that effort for longer, as demonstrated here today. So we'll work with this number. We'll work at this 340 watt number, um, and because things have increased, I'm not going to go down the route of any like super hard efforts. I'm going to keep. Um, foundations building around around this we need to build and build and build so at the minute everything is good Ooh, my ribs hurt now all the little what do they call them Charlie tells me what they're called intercostals or whatever they are around your ribs like your rib cage is just doing this the whole time. Expanding, expanding, expanding. Whew. What numbers do you use as FTP in training programs now and how do you usually do it when testing on the trainer? So basically, um, there's numerous ways, isn't there, of, uh, of, um, of training. Um, FTP has become maybe less important. How I how I see the FTP as valuable is is basically knowing that there's this number and you can work around it. Um, but it, but again, it's the same as LT one, LT two, LT three. Like if you know the number, you, FTP you've got one number. But if you know what your LT one is, where LT two and LT three is, then those are three numbers and you can work around those three numbers. If you know your critical power numbers like 3, 5, and 12 minute, and 20 minute, then those those are four numbers. Those are four FTPs in theory, you know, because functional threshold power is just a number that you can base your training off of. So I would say training, for me personally, and for most people that I coach as well, to a certain extent, has become less um, important. It's more just become a number that you can relate to, you know, if you're going out and you're doing a... a big climb you know to pace and it's valuable in that sense but training has has, has taken a form of of um, being a bit more dynamic in that regard um, 
And then when it comes to testing, uh, you know, ramp tests, I no, I, I don't advise ramp tests for the most part. Um, 20 minute test is the, is the next lesser of the, lesser of the evils then. And then to be honest, like, because usually when you test FTP, again, it depend, it all depends on your own like goals and stuff. But like, usually I'd like to test FTP and time to exhaustion at the same time. But, but a lot of people, um, you know, it's really tough because you have to do such a long effort, um, like this one. You know, and a lot of people you know, would rather just get it done um, rather than because uh, this is a, this is obviously a training session in itself. In itself. Um, how often do you do low cadence hill strength sessions? Uh, never. Purple cow. I used to, but I don't anymore because, for one, uh, for one, I think. Climbs are steep enough around here that I that I'm forced to ride at fifty sixty RPM when I'm climbing, so I don't have to do low cadence. But then I don't think uh, personally. I don't think the uh, I suppose the evidence is you know I think what it achieves can still be achieved just by riding your bike without doing it without doing low cadence stuff or high cadence stuff really. I I don't think like. Whatever gains they bring, I think that you can just get them just by riding a bike and training generally. Um, how much would I take off a thirty minute effort to take my FTP? Thinking about Sakura because I definitely need an FTP test. Uh, I wouldn't, but um, I wouldn't because in theory, that's that would be your FTP. For that effort, for that particular effort, if you need to do a thirty-minute effort, I think for a thirty-minute effort of Sacklobra, you need to know, like just like I was doing when I was building up to the to the effort of Sacklobra, I didn't need to know what I could do for for thirty minutes. I needed to know what I could do for. For 24 minutes um, and and likewise that goes for any climb you need to know what you can do f for that for that climb not necessarily FTP because the difficulty is if you do a 20 minute max effort then without doing a 30 minute effort to test you wouldn't know really what you could do for 30 minutes I mean you could a model could potentially tell you, give you give you a rough ballpark, and that would probably be like five or ten watts less. Like most people would probably drop off about ten watts in ten minutes. Well, five to ten watts in ten minutes. So say if you can do, you know, two hundred and fifty watts, three hundred watts for three hundred watts for twenty minutes, then you might be capable of doing you know two hundred and eighty, two hundred and ninety watts for half an hour but you might be someone like me like if you look at the difference between you know obviously this is di different type of pacing but if you look at the difference there between the 20 minute and then 40 minute granted it wasn't quite 40 minutes but that's only 15 watts so look, that's where you know really you need to know what you can actually do. Like last year when I did Abduez in real life, 45 minute effort was required or anything below 40, 45 minutes. So ideally doing like a, doing like a test like this where you full send the Alp gives you that ballpark number. So functional threshold power what you can function at, at threshold, what power you can function at. <laughs> the terminology has changed so much, like it's <laughs> amazing what 10 years will do. Oh. Okay, thanks for tuning in everybody. It was awesome. I'm glad I could uh, get that effort out and, and thanks for joining. Um, once again, 
I think we'll do a Zwift race on Sunday morning. Cue all the people messaging me, which race am I doing? <laughs> um, we'll see what's on offer. Um, anyone in Backpedal Discord, if you're listening, um, let's try and find something. Maybe we can all race uh, if the weather's bad or whatever. Um, but yeah, I might race Sunday morning, so we'll see. Keep an eye open. If not, um, if not, I'll see you when I see you. So, thanks for coming. Leave a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. But hopefully, less suffering.